Hello and welcome to an organic transit tutorial video. In this video we'll go over the steering arms and how to replace them. The first thing that you will notice is that we have two different types of steering arms. The older version has been used in vehicles from the 700 series and older. The newer version is for vehicles of the 700 series and newer. If your vehicle is older, it will have the older version steering arm. The newer vehicles will currently have the newer version. Even though they look remarkably different, they are very similar. One of the main changes has been the thickness of the steering arm. The newer version is slightly larger than the older version. And we will show you how to replace the older version with the newer version. This might be done because there was damage that occurred to the older version, or you simply would like to upgrade. So stay with us and we'll get going. We'll first, we'll first look at the older style string arms. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four holes in the arm itself. It's a two-part arm and it's held in place by two bolts. Uh, in order to remove this arm, you must get a 4mm Allen wrench and remove the bolts. If your vehicle contains or has this particular arm, it will have a roll pin installed. This roll pin goes through the rear portion of the arm and into the antler. Now let's take a look at the new arm. It's a one-piece arm, aluminum. It's held in place with a bolt and a washer. And it has one, two, three holes. This arm needs to be torqued once it is installed to 45 foot-pounds. Uh, we'll go over it once we get to the installation part of the video. To remove the steering arm, you will need the following tools. A 5mm Allen wrench. This will be used to remove the cap on the antler, a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. This will be used to loosen the steering arm. You will need an 8 millimeter Allen wrench. This will be used to hold the bolt that secures the tie rod to the steering arm. You will also need a 14 millimeter wrench and a light mallet. First, remove 
the handler cap. Next, remove the bolts holding the string arm to the antler. Separate the string arm. Proceed to disconnect the string arm from the tie rod. This might require a bit of force. Once separated, secure the hardware that comes with it. Once you secure the hardware, set it aside and gently tap the rear end your steering arm to break it loose from the antler. Now we'll move on to the installation portion of the video. Before installation of the new arms begins, we have to align the vehicle using our alignment jig. Now the instructions to build this jig will be in a written instruction sheet. You're gonna have to cut them out of pieces of plywood and the sheet will instruct you on how to properly use the alignment tool. Using the alignment tool you will align the vehicle once you have your vehicle aligned, take great care not to move the vehicle. But well, here we have the alignment tool, uh, which you will get a instructional pamphlet when you ask for a new arm set, it'll explain how to build it. Uh, but once you build it and it's ready to go, the way you use it is as follows. You will take your alignment tools, clamp them onto the wheels. You do not have to use a lot of force on the clamps. Once you have clamped both of them, you will need two measuring tapes, uh, one for the front, one for the back. What you want to do is to get your two wheels parallel to each other. So you want to have the same distance between the front portion of the wheel and the rear portion of the wheel. 
once your wheels are parallel, then we can start moving on the installation of the steering arm. Once you have aligned your elf, take great care not to move or bump the elf to prevent any movement of the wheels. We are moving on to the installation of the arm. Uh, you will need your new arm, string arm, uh, the bolt that came with your steering arm, you will need anti-seize, you will need a sleeve retainer such as Vibratite uh, or a sleeve retainer by Permatex. Uh, whatever you can find at your local hardware store will do. An 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, you will need a 4 mil and a 5 mil Allen wrenches too. You can have a little tool like uh, this one from, from Pedro's. You will need a 14 millimeter wrench, a 15 millimeter wrench the bolt that came off the old steering arm assembly, the washer, the cone washer, your top caps, you will need two 2.5 millimeter spacers, and two five millimeter spacers, your top cap bolts, and finally a compression compression tool. Uh, you can acquire this by contacting our customer service department. Uh, with your vehicle aligned using the alignment tools and following the procedures in the written material and your handlebars in a level position, we can begin the installation of the steering arm. Try not to move the elf while you install the arm. To install the steering arm, you will first attach your new steering arm to the tie rod, steering tie rod using your bolt, the cone washer, you want the cone portion facing up, at this point you will insert your steering arm in place, You will add your washer, a touch of anti-seize, and you will secure it with your nut in place. Go ahead and tighten this. Secure it. Now we will install the steering arm onto our handler. You will use your sleeve retainer. Add some to the inside of the new steering arm.
insert your 2.5 millimeter spacer. Insert the sleeve. Insert the string arm onto the handler. Insert your bolt. You do not need to tighten that bolt at this moment. Using your compression tool, compress the string arm until it is flush with the top of the wall of the antler. And your steering arm and your antler are flush with each other. Use your 30 millimeter wrench and tighten the steering arm by hand. About four quarter turns will have it tight enough that it will not loosen up anymore. Now we'll go ahead and use a torque wrench and torque it to 45 foot pounds. Pump your steering arm to 45 foot pounds. Once it's secure, you can go ahead and remove the compression tool and repeat on the opposite side. Make sure to double check your alignment before you start working on the opposite side. Now the final step is to get your 5 millimeter spacer, place it on top of the string arm, get your top cap, place it atop that, and your top cap bolt, and secure the top cap. to the string arm. Now your steering arm installation has been completed. Clean the work area, put away all your tools, and you're ready to ride.